Commentary on the Heart of Father Anthony Agnes. Today is Monday of the fourth week of Lent. First reading Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17 to 21. Gospel reading John chapter 4, verses 43 to 54. Friends, today when we talk of social media, our minds go straight away to virtual connection yes through social media today we can be in one place and communicate with others far far away from us yet there's some connection between us and them obviously it is a virtual connection it's not physical but we hear what they say we see what they do Friends, long before these days of social media, Jesus had already ventured into social media. Today's gas reading tells us of his own virtual ministry, his social media ministry, the online ministry of Jesus. Friends, are you wondering, are you asking, are you thinking that you are too far? from God? Are you too far from God? Indeed, in land, even when you think you are far, when we think we are far because of our weaknesses and mistakes, today the church reminds us that no one is indeed far from God. Because no matter our distance, no matter our location, Jesus can reach out to us, even through virtual means. Even through social media means, we can say today. And so this man comes to Jesus. We hear, we hear that Jesus was in a place called Galilee, Cana, actually. But this man came from Capernaum, a different town, to experience Jesus. What a faith. Coming all the way across towns to see Jesus was the first act of faith of this man. Indeed, the centurion mentioned today, this um, court official, to be, say, to be specific, mentioned today in today's reading, God's reading, should be an encouragement to us. Sometimes we need to take the extra mile, to go the extra mile, do something extraordinary to encounter God. He came all the way, crossing city after city, town after town, to see Jesus just to put his plea before him. Friends, it paid off. During this land, when you take some extraordinary means, because usually you wouldn't do that thing that you see as normal, but you do them with love, they become extraordinary. Ordinary becomes extraordinary because it is done with love. And when we take these extraordinary acts of love, Call them the corporal works of mercy. Call them the spiritual works of mercy. Indeed, through them, we can find our way to Jesus. So this man comes all the way across towns to meet Jesus because of his son who was dying. Not for himself. That is the second act of faith. Today we pray for ourselves. Just for ourselves. Our intentions. Just for our own good. But he came not for him, so but for his son. This Lent, this week, bring somebody's intention before God. It is enough. You've been praying for yourself for a while. We are in the fourth week. Fourth week. Bring some other person's intention before God. That colleague at the workplace, the person that you are in the same society with, the man, the woman, the family member, the friend, whom you know is struggling, is in any difficulty. Today's reading invites us to bring people, present them. When we pray, we encounter God in prayer because every prayer we meet Jesus physically, face to face, spiritually. Present them before God also and plead on their behalf. It is called intercession. So this man was interceding for his son. Intercession works, friends. We pray that others who also love us, who so intercede for us. So we say, pray for me. When you say someone, tell someone to pray for you, 
Indeed, the person you pray that he will pray for you. When somebody tells you pray for me, have time to pray for the person. Intercede for him. Intercede for her. And so Jesus told this man, okay, you go home. Your prayer would be answered. He didn't get the direct answer. He didn't see the answer. But the word was go home. That is the word, go home. Friends, sometimes it is time to go home. You've been praying, asking, the same intention. Now, today, God is reminding us. Jesus is reminding you. It is time to go home. Go home means leave your problems before me. I will take care of them. <laughs> that is what it means. When Jesus tells this man, when God tells us to go home, he means he will take care of your problems, of our problems. It is enough. Today, learn to go home. Learn to leave your worries before God when you pray, when you go to Mass. Leave them there. Go home. Go home. Go home. And when this man was on his way going because he had left his problems at the feet of Jesus, he trusted in Jesus, the miracle happened. The son was healed. And that was the online ministry. God, Jesus, has healed the son online because he didn't come there himself. He didn't know that his father was interceding for him. But through the spiritual connection of God, Jesus, to this boy, he was healed. Today we pray for all those who are far from God, who stay far from Christ, who stay far from the church. Maybe you need this online touch of Jesus, this virtual touch of Jesus. May you receive it. May you feel it. May the problems we have, indeed there are many, may they be touched by Jesus one by one, even virtually, even online we can say. And so today, we want to thank God for the gift of social media, that we the church will continue to use this gift to minister to the world, a minister with God's love. Indeed, God can do everything and anything. We pray. Father, we thank you for the gift of your ever presence. Nothing can stop you from reaching out to us. Even when we are far, far from you physically, we know you can reach us. You can touch us. And so we pray for our brothers and sisters, friends, family, who need your spiritual touch, even virtually. Wherever they are today, and wherever we are today, Lord, reach out and touch them. Reach out and touch us. May our lives be touched and be changed. This is our prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. <laughs>